It begins in Bethlehem, a nativity rhyme for Christmas time. A woman called Mary was doing her chores when an angel arrived, but not through the doors. He simply appeared, and she dropped to the floor. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. God is with me, she wondered. But what does that mean? What's this all about? Is it some kind of dream? The angel just smiled. Don't be scared. Please don't scream. God is happy with you and will bless you. God knocks down the proud and lifts up the meek and does mighty things for those who are weak and blesses the ones whose service he seeks. So sing out his praise. He's amazing. You'll soon have a baby, the angel went on. A quite special baby called Jesus, God's son. The heir of King David, he'll sit on his throne and his kingdom will last forever. But how, Mary asked, I don't understand. I'm engaged to be wed, but he's not yet my man. Trust God, said the angel. He's got it all planned. His spirit will come upon you. All night Joseph tossed, all night Joseph turned. He just couldn't sleep. He'd only just learned that Mary was pregnant. What's more, she'd confirmed that the baby she bore was not his. Joseph, don't worry. Joseph, don't weep. Lay down your head and go back to sleep. Mary's been faithful. Her love's strong and deep. And her baby is God's own son. He's the answer to all that the prophets have said. So keep your engagement. Be glad and be wed. And when Joseph woke up, that's just what he did. He took Mary to be his wife. One hump, two humps. The star watchers watched the stars go by, looking for secrets in the sky. And then they saw a special star away in the west, away off far. A king's been born, that's what it means, Judea way, or so it seems. They climbed aboard their camely beasts and set off west from their homes back east. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers went with a bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers followed the star. At last their journey came to an end. They parked their camels in Jerusalem. Then they went to Herod, king of the nation, to ask him for some information. O oh, king, they asked. They were quite polite. Somewhere around here on this starry night, a brand new baby king abides. Can you tell us where this child resides? Star Watch's friends, King Herod smiled. In Bethlehem you'll find the child. Would you tell me where you find him, please? The exact address would put my mind at ease. Herod, of course, told them a lie. He'd already planned for the child to die. When he found the boy, that's what he'd do, so the Star Watchers left without a clue. The shining star led them to the place, a simple house, not some fancy space. And when they saw the little boy, they gave him a pile of special toys. Presents, rather, fit for a king. A bunch of shiny golden things, a spice called myrrh, a sort of perfume, while smelling frankincense filled the room. Then in the night, they had a dream that showed them Herod's evil scheme. So they never said where the boy's house lay, but went straight home by another way. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The Star Watchers went with a bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The Star Watchers followed the star. So what is the point of angels and shepherds and camels and stars, you say? Is it just a nice story to tell to the children to celebrate Christmas Day? It's not just a story. It's not just for kids. It's the hinge on which history swings. That Bethlehem baby grew into a man who challenged all powers and kings. He taught us that love is better than hate, that serving beats being in charge. He showed us the value of each human life, the little as well as the large. And then, on a cross, he died for us all, died to take all our wrongs away, and walk three days later right out of his tomb to turn death's dark night to day. And that is the good news, the angels proclaimed, the heart of all Jesus would do. A new life for now, a new life forever. That's his Christmas present to you.